So this week, I've been working on a project with a rotary encoder and an ESP32. And the reason I'm using these two little guys is that I'm looking for a tactile device to control my home assistant with. I'm a little bit over having to open my phone, open the home assistant app every time I want to do something or call an Alexa. And I thought this would be a great way of doing it. So I've got ESP Home flashed on the ESP32 and it's reading the numbers, incrementing and decrementing in from the rotary encoder, which is really cool. But I've run into a bit of a problem and I really need your help this time. So I'll show you how I've got, how far I've got, and then I would really appreciate some feedback on how I can get this automation working. So this is the rotary encoder that I got in my 37-in-1 sensor pack. And as you can see, it's a really simple little device. It has a positive and a ground, which I've connected to, and then it has a clock and a DT pin. So all I've done is I've connected those directly up to my ESP32. So what I've done, I have hooked it up to the plus and minus. I've gone with the 3.3 volts and the ground going to positive and negative on the rotor encoder. And then I've connected in here to pins 26 and 27 for the other two components. And then I'll show you what I've done in ESP Home to get this device working. So if we have a look here at our rotary encoder sensor here in the ESP Home, um, there we've got the little device all hooked up as what I've done. Now you have got this switch as well, so that's an additional line that you can connect up. And if you press this little button in, it will basically give you a on-off switch. So that's really cool so that you can select numbers and then you can press as well. As you can see, it needs to have 3.3 volts on ground. And then we have this clock and DT lines are A and B. So what we've done, we've taken this piece of code, um, copied that across, and A and B we've assigned to pins 26 and 27 on my ESP Home device. Now I've also set a minimum and a maximum because otherwise it will just keep counting up forever in a day um, and also a, um, a resolution. So is it counting in one, twos, threes, or whatever? So if we go across now, so here we go, we've got our encoder, we go in here, and as you can see, I've started up a standard ESP32 install, and what I've pasted in there is that platform with the pins 26 and 27, minimum value zero, maximum value 10, and resolution one. So I've got that installed, and if we now go to logs, we can now see that it will fire that up, and if we start turning this, it will start changing the values. Now, it does do a few th funny things. If you look at that, 56565 five, five, and then 789. If we go back down the other way, it's coming down. So I'm not sure if that's a bouncing issue, but we seem to be getting pretty good numbers out of that. So now the next step was that I wanted to actually create an automation based off of the result of the trigger of this encoder. So this is where I started running into a bit of trouble. So I went and I went to automations and I created this encoder automation. Now, this is the problem that I had. I tried to use the trigger as the rotor encoder value. And the only thing it gives me here is that the encoder number changes above or below a certain number. So I actually wanted to say based on the encoder saying one or two or three, so this above and below is a little bit frustrating. So next I thought, well, I could do this in Node Red because if we go to Node Red, you'll see here we have state change for rotary encoder. And once again, if I start moving this up and down, you'll see that it's reading my state. So that's really cool. But now my knowledge of Node Red is not great. So this is where I really need your help to either help me to work out why I can't do the uh, Home Assistant automation or to help me to create an action now here in Node Red where I can either uh, change the dimness on a light bulb or even better run an automation to push certain text across to my Lansy clock. So I might want to say I want to see temperature, humidity, rainfall, um, I might want to say I want a news feed or something, and I want to be able to change that with my rotary encoder. So if someone's got any ideas about that, either doing it in Node-RED, 
home automation, automations, or even as a um, a YAML code. That's way over my top. So anyway, I really appreciate the input. Thanks again. Have a great week. Bye then.